special day in Don Christian Elementary School community. I thank you for being here. My name is John Morrison and I am the very proud principal of Don Christian Elementary School. First, before we begin, of course, I wish to acknowledge that we are honored and privileged to live, work, learn, and play on the unceded shared traditional territory of the Katsi, Semiamo, and Kwantlen First Nations and other Coast Salish peoples. All our relations. Also, in a nod to our hopefully soon to end pandemic times, I encourage you all to maintain social distancing and to wear your masks whenever you can. And when you do come to the podium, you may take your mask off, of course. We have many guests today, and we are thankful that you are here. I would like to introduce our special guests, but before I do, I ask you to hold your applause until the end. First, I would like to introduce Ms. Lori Larson, Board of Education Chairperson and Trustee, Ms. Lorraine McNally, Trustee, and Mr. Gary Tomashak, Trustee. As well, we have Ms. Shauna Ross, Assistant Superintendent, uh, Ms. Paula James, our Katsi First Nation representative today. Ms. James is also senior Aboriginal support worker in our school district. As well, I'm not sure we, if I see Ms. Lynn Daniels. Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Lynn, didn't see you there. Ms. Daniels is our director of instruction for our Indigenous peoples. It is also my pleasure to introduce our PAC chair, Ms. Andrea Hagan, as well, um, pardon me, uh, Ms. Carol Epke, who's also representing PAC executive members. And I'd like to make a note that our parents unanimously agreed from the very beginning to support this project financially, and we are very grateful for that. And of course, I would like to introduce Mr. Brandon Gabriel, artist, as well as educator extraordinaire. Thank you. And it is, I'm very pleased to also welcome Mr. Gabriel's father, elderly Lekaitan. I wish to thank you all for being here. I've, um, my heart is really filled with gratitude and uh, I also want to thank members of our facilities crew Mr. Brian Friesen and Mr. Jeff McMillan, who kindly took my many calls over several months and years. Lots of pestering as we all navigated our way through what has become a two and a half year journey. But hey, we did it, so we're very happy. At this time, I now invite Ms. Paula James to the podium. Thank you for the introduction and just to continue, uh, I'd swale. I noticed that when I drove in, the word is at the entrance there, I swale, and we've been using that more and more in the district. So that means good day. Paula James, Tana. My homosqui is Hoxil Til Tanat, Talitsin at Kitsi, Barnston Island. I am from Barnston Island, and I'm going to assume many of you have heard where Barnston Island is. You're not too far from it. So it's such a pleasure to be here. Another thing I'd like to add is Amit Sep Kwakwilam, and that means welcome all. It's such a pleasure to be here for the reason that we're going to be here, and we'll share more of that in a little bit. And another thing I'd like to add that I'm sharing the Downriver Hunk Aminam dialect that uh, our Katsi people speak, and we share in the Downriver between the Musqueam and the Matsqui. So I would also say, Amit Sat Kwa Kwilam eat Shkwamets Kitsi Al eat Nat Kwatlan eats Amiyamu Al Shkwamets. That means welcome to the traditional territory of the First Peoples that we share with the Kitsi, Samiyamu, and the Kwatlan. And we welcome the cities within the territories. Um, the rain, you know what? The rain is a good thing. It's a cleansing. So let's just look at this as a beautiful day. We're doing beautiful things. We're recognizing beautiful art. 
and we're going to have some wonderful speakers today. So thank you so much for having me here at Don Christian. It's always a pleasure to come here and welcome everybody. Hi, Sapka. Thank you, Ms. James. I now call upon Ms. Larson to come to the podium, please. It's great to be here at beautiful Don Christian Elementary. And just for your information, the trust and, trustees and I met last week at Madaw, and it was snowing and ice. So this probably is a little better than that, just to let you know. I first want to acknowledge how fortunate we are to be here on the unceded traditional territory of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Katsi, Kwantlen, and Samiamu First Nations. Thank you to Principal Morrison for arranging this event. I want to acknowledge my fellow trustees who are here today, as well as the senior Indigenous support worker, Paula James, who just spoke, members of the Don Christensen Elementary PAC, the district, the Indigenous students, staff, and families here today. This vibrant, beautiful mural was painted by Kwantlen First Nation artist, Brandon Gabriel, who's here today, and depicts an eagle, a hummingbird, and a wolf, symbolizing respect, resiliency, and responsibility. Students chose these values as part of a school-wide poll, and it is heartening to see these values instilled in our students. The mural tells the Indigenous story of the hummingbird that saved the world from a ravaging fire by dousing it with water, one drop at a time. With boundless determination, the hummingbird inspired other creatures to help and learn that little actions can have a profound impact. What an inspiring image for our students to see every day as they come to school, but also for parents and anybody that does drive by. It's so visible from the road. This mural replaces a previous one on the side of the school. With an em emphasis on the Indigenous history of the area and the Coast Salish land on which our school sits. It is our hope that this mural will share that history with the community and be a point of pride for our students and staff. Congratulations and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Larson. Thank you for your kind words. We now request Ms. Daniels to come to the podium to, do, to introduce Mr. Brown and Gabriel. Good afternoon, everyone. I swale. Is this on? Can you hear me okay? Awesome. Well, it's a real pleasure to be here this afternoon for this really important event. And it's my pleasure to be introducing the artist. I've known Brandon for approximately five years, I think. And it's such an honor to, um, it has been such an honor to make his acquaintance. As you can see, he's very talented. You know, artists are not just people who draw and create because to be an artist, you ha especially an indigenous artist, you have to know so much about your history, your people, your culture, because you have to know what the images that you're creating, what it represents, what they represent, you know, since time immemorial for Coast Salish people and Kwantlen people and what they represent to, for today. So uh, artists are really important people in our community. And uh, I think it's really awesome that Don Christian Elementary is honoring the artist of this beautiful mural that is really important. You know, without artists, our world would be so bleak. Everything starts with an artist. No matter what kind of project you're going to do, there has to be some creativity brought into it. And artists are the people that do, the, do that. So um, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Brandon Gabriel and um, he will tell you more about his unique perspective and uh, what it meant to create this beautiful mural. Uh, first off, I uh, would like to say thank you to the staff and students uh, of Don Christian Elementary for inviting me into your home and allowing me to come and work on my, on my mural in your home. Uh, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting your principal, uh, Mr. Morrison, just a little over two years ago. I came by and he's like, hey, we have, this, we have this wall. Would you like to do a mural? I was like, yeah, let's do it. And it was the week before the pandemic hit. And, and I was like, 
He's like, yeah, there's some flu going around. I'm like, I heard about that. I'll probably see you in a couple of weeks. That was two years ago. And, um, and so I'm really thankful that uh, everything worked out and that I was able to come and do this artwork because my experience here was so positive. The students in this school are so respectful to indigenous culture. I felt it every day that I came to the school and did the work. You were all so inquisitive, willing to learn, willing to listen to our stories, willing to embrace our stories and make our stories part of your home. I was so honored. It was such a gift. And um, I, I would also, uh, I, I, I can't believe I forgot this. I, I uh, need to give thanks to the people whose land we're on. And I would like to acknowledge I'm from the Kwantlen Nation, but I also feel like I am a guest in the Ketsi, Semiamu, and Musqueam Nations. And, and all those nations uh, I have kinship ties to, but I cannot claim that I am from there. But all, all I can say is that I'm a guest, and I am grateful. I am grateful to be a guest on your territory, and that you all showed up today to, to give respect to this occasion. The mural is not only a piece of art, but to many it will have special meaning because when you look at it and you learn of the stories behind it, it helps us all to understand the importance of reconciliation so needed in today's world. Thank you. It is my pleasure at this time to invite Ms. Huder, our school's lead Indigenous teacher, to come forward to offer some comments. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michelle, and I'm a proud mother of three children, Mayel, Matthew, and Cole, who attend this school. I am also a primary teacher and the lead Indigenous teacher for Dawn Christian, and I am also Métis. I have not always shared that I am Métis, as that part of my family history was not shared or celebrated and was not always a source of pride. With the events that unfolded last year, I found myself reconnecting with that part of my heritage and wanting to learn more about my family's history and culture. I took on the lead Indigenous teacher role to honour my culture and to set an example to my children and to my students to be proud of who you are and where you've come from. This mural gives me hope for a more inclusive future where every child matters. 
As a member of our amazing staff, I am proud of this murals as its message of respect, resilience, and responsibility, so important for all learners to hear, learn, and understand. It helps offer a message of hope for the future, and in many ways, it is a bridge towards reconciliation. The mural has become a source of pride for our students as they help select the themes. It has opened conversations with our students about how we can honor the Indigenous communities in which lands we learn, work, and play. The process of interacting and col collaborating with Brandon enhanced our sense of community and created a sense of wonder and curiosity. It allowed both staff and students to partake and feel a sense of ownership where their voices were heard. Throughout this journey, we witnessed the evolution of the mural from concept to now, this beautiful piece of artwork. I want to thank you, Brandon, on behalf of all students and staff of Don Christian for such an amazing experience. I now ask Mr. Morrison um, to come up with some other remarks. Thank you, Ms. Houdier. We're almost at the very end of our afternoon, and this is where we're kind of playing it by ear, but uh, we ask Brandon to come forward at this time, please. We've never opened a mural before. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's not quite like a school opening, we know, but um, we thought it would be nice if uh, we could have a student with Brandon. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Matthew, come on up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so and maybe if you get on the other we'll side, we'll get on the other we'll side and face us. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, yep. Go ahead, go yeah, on. Yeah. Right. Oh, cool. Perfect. Okay. All right, so. And then with this. So you're going to take one side. I'm going to step of a ribbon. Step, we okay. will officially. Okay, ready? And then. Declare the mural. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One more. Uh, we also have some gifts for you. And elderly Lakaton, please. Come forward. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'll just say uh, one last thing. Um, so, uh, for an artist, uh, for your work to be honored when something like this is unveiled, and 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 the ribbon is unfurled, and scissors are brought out, and you get to cut a ribbon, that's everything. That is like one of the bi the biggest honors. Uh, an artist can have in in their career. <sighs> yeah, it's a surprise I didn't expect, and uh, <sighs> and I get to take home flowers in a tree <laughs> on top of it, and and uh, it's very moving. It's very touching. Um, it's received well to me and and my family and uh thank you and to all special guests and wildcats young and younger we thank you for coming today braving the elements and this brings to close our afternoon ceremony one last thing i'd just like to point out that attached to the trees is our school motto and our school motto is determined to succeed. And from the beginning to the end, we were very determined to complete this project this year. So again, thank you very much for coming, everyone. All our relations, thank you.